So with the recent release of Tekken 8, people have been wondering what's the best Tekken game in the main series. So I thought what a better time to recap and go through the gameplay and story from Tekken 1 to Tekken 8 in a chronological order. Tekken 1. The game that started it all. Fans were wowed by the stunning 3D graphics, given they were much more accustomed to the traditional 2D style of Street Fighter and King of Fighters. But what set Tekken apart was its button inputs. Instead of different buttons determining the strength of the move, they determined the limb your Tekken fighter attacks with, which made controlling your character feel even more intuitive and responsive. The general plot of Tekken is that an old but powerful fighter called Heihachi Mishima is the head of a massive financial conglomerate, Mishima Zaibatsu. Heihachi hosts a tournament called King of the Iron Fist, and his son Kazuya enters and defeats his father. When Kazuya beats Heihachi, he throws his father off a cliff as revenge for what his father did to him as a child. Tekken 2 The original Tekken was so well received that there was no need to make big changes. Instead, Namco focused on refining the gameplay and graphics to create a better experience. Sidestepping was added to Tekken 2, which became a crucial movement mechanic in the series' competitive scene. And for the first time, iconic characters like Heihachi and Kuma were playable in the arcade. Continuing the story from the first game, Kazuya hosts another King of the Iron Fist tournament now that his father is gone. Rumors start circulating about Kazuya's devil gene, and to Kazuya's surprise, it turns out Heihachi survived the fall from the prequel. In the end, Heihachi enters the tournament, defeating his son and throwing him into an active volcano. That'll teach him. Tekken 3 Namco continued to improve both the graphics and movement of Tekken in Tekken 3. Jumping was toned down to make it more realistic, and sidestepping was improved further to encourage players to juke their opponents. The roster changed significantly from Tekken 2, giving us characters like Ogre and Mokujin. This is where Tekken lore starts getting a lot more complicated. We finally learn about Kazuya's son, Jean Kazama. We also witness firsthand the powers behind the Devil Gene, which Jin powerfully shows off when pushed to his limits. Heihachi tries to gun down his grandson, but Jin uses his demon powers to defeat the old man, slamming him through a temple and flying off into the distance. Tekken 4. Tekken 4 introduces environmental hazards, like walls that players can punch their opponents into and ceilings that collapse, letting fighters extend their combos by knocking their opponent into a wall or kicking them down a three-story drop. This made stages feel significantly more interactive, setting Tekken 4 apart from other fighting games of the time. This is the first time we see all three Mishimas, Haihachi, Kazuya, and Jin in the same fight. Jin intended to kill his father and grandfather to end the Mishima bloodline, but Heihachi traps him to try and harness the devil Jin. Jin breaks out of his chains and uses his demon power to defeat Kazuya and Heihachi. Just as he's about to kill his grandfather, he has a vision about his mother. She convinces him not to give in to the dark side. He once again flies away and spares the life of his father and grandfather. Tekken 5. Tekken 5 introduces the crush system, allowing certain attacks to take priority over others, making fights a matter of rock, paper, scissors. It's also the first game in the mainline series to adopt a ranking system for players to see how they stack up. With Heihachi presumed dead, it's a mystery who announced the newest King of the Iron Fist tournament. Despite losing control of his devil gene, 
Jin overwhelms his competition and makes it to the finals. It's revealed that the one hosting the tournament is none other than Heihachi's father, Jinpachi Mishima, Jin's great-grandfather. Jinpachi hosted the tournament to find a strong enough fighter to kill him, since he has a powerful entity inside him that's controlling him. Jin musters his strength and completes the task, uniting the Mishima Zaibatsu Company in the process. Tekken 6. Tekken 6 is when finally entered the modern fighting game era. This was primarily done through the addition of various new mechanics. One of the most notable ones is Rage, which causes characters to deal more damage once they're at a certain threshold of health, providing a small comeback mechanic. Combos are emphasized significantly in Tekken 6, making it crucial to lab out punishes. Jin reigns supreme with the overwhelming power of his Devil Gene and the Mishima Zaibatsu Company. To combat this, a Swedish soldier named Lars Alexanderson recruits members and starts a rebellion. With the help of a robot named Elisa and a ninja named Raven, they encounter Jin in a temple home to a demon called Azazel. Jin reveals after being defeated that he must destroy Azazel to save the planet. Jin defeats him, but gets buried underneath the destroyed temple while the others escape. Tekken 7 Tekken 7 builds upon Tekken 6's rage mechanics with rage arts and rage drives, powerful attacks players can use to deal significant damage. Players can also extend their combos when opponents are knocked down, leading to devastating punishes. Not to mention the overwhelming amount of crossovers from The Walking Dead's Negan to Final Fantasy XV's Noctis. Kazuya and Heihachi have one final battle next to an active volcano. Even though Heihachi powers through Kazuya's devil gene and reverts him to human form, Kazuya musters the strength to deliver one last punch, which succeeds in stopping Heihachi's heart. Kazuya then proceeds to throw Heihachi into the active volcano. Street Fighter's Akuma encounters Kazuya after the fight in his search for a worthy opponent, but the results of the fight are left unknown. Lars urges Jin to defeat Kazuya, since Jin is the only other fighter who has the devil gene. Now to the main subject, Tekken 8 is the first major fighting game franchise to be developed on Unreal Engine 5. That said, the graphics had a major improvement. Gameplay-wise, Tekken 8 has a noticeably more aggressive atmosphere, with the new heat gauge system rewarding players for push-forward action and the recoverable health and chip damage mechanics. Every character has a unique fighting style and deep moveset. They also introduce new characters like Victor Chevalier and Reyna, Tekken 8 also features Arcade Quest, which is a full-fledged story where you customize an avatar and embark on a journey through arcades to become the best. Story-wise, Tekken 8 takes place six months after the events of Tekken 7, which saw longtime antagonist Heihachi Mishima finally meet his end at the hands of his son Kazuya. Tekken 8 continues the franchise's tale of terrible parenting. This time, the focus is on Kazuya and his son Jin Kazama, as their fated battle between the two bearers of the Devil Gene finally happens. So basically there is two endings, let's start with the good ending. In the climactic showdown between Devil Jin and True Devil Kazuya, Devil Jin undergoes a transformative experience, guided by a vision of his mother Jun, turning into an angelic form. Using his newfound powers, he averts a world-ending catastrophe launched by Kazuya, propelling both into space for a final battle on a makeshift rock stage. The conflict concludes with both reverting to their human selves and going back to Earth. After a long fight without the devil powers, Jin was the last man standing.
A poignant post-battle scene sees Jin expressing gratitude to his mother, symbolized by a white bird. The narrative wraps up with Jin encountering Xiao Yu, hinting at a shared future, while the defeated Kazuya is visited by Jun. A post-credits revelation by Reina hints at the continuing legacy of the Mishima family. Now for the bad ending. It occurs after Jin loses the final battle to Kazuya, which triggers an alternate final cutscene. It begins with Kazuya tossing Jin off a cliff with a smirk on his face before cutting a shot of him proclaiming his unrelenting pursuit of power once again. The post credit scene for this ending is the same as the previous one, implying that Reina will be the latest obstacle in Kazuya's path. That concludes our Tekken recap. Do you think Tekken 8 is the best game in the series? If not, tell us your opinion in the comments.